Ah, oh, hoy there matey, come sail with me Peter the pirate on the high seas There's poems and wonders, there's so much to find Adventures and learning of every kind Peter the pirate, bold and free Exploring the future of history With treasures of knowledge, the journey's begun With Peter the pirate, it's learning and fun Ahoy, me hearties! Have you ever wondered how a voice, a song, or even a secret pirate message can fly through the air without a single rope or sail? It ain't magic. It's the power of radio waves. These invisible signals be zipping through the sky faster than a cannonball carrying sounds from far and wide. Well, grab your spyglass, tune those ears, and help me uncover the mystery of how radios work. Imagine you be throwing a rock into the ocean. Those ripples spread out are... That's how radio waves travel, invisible ripples of energy moving through the air. But instead of water, these waves be sailing through space, carrying voices, music, and even spaceship signals. To send a message, you need a transmitter, like a pirate shouting orders from the crow's nest. The transmitter turns sound into electrical signals, then blasts them into the sky as radio waves. These waves be traveling at the speed of light, 160,000 miles per second to be exact. Arr. That's fast enough to circle the whole world seven times in one second! Oh, <laughs> blimey! Now, a message is useless if no one hears it. That's where the receiver, your radio, comes in. It catches those waves and turns them back into sound, so you can hear pirate tunes, sea shanties, or the latest weather warnings before you set sail. Radios work on different frequencies. It's like picking which treasure map to follow. AM, amplitude modulation, be good for long distances, even bouncing up the sky at night. FM, frequency modulation, be clearer, perfect for crisp music. Ever wonder why you sometimes hear a faraway station at night? Aye, radio waves bounce off the Earth's atmosphere like a cannonball ricocheting off a ship's hull. Did you know the first radio message ever sent was the letter S in Morse code back in 1895? Just three little beeps changed the world. Astronauts use radios to talk from space. That be how we heard the infamous That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So mateys, next time you turn on the radio, remember, you be tuning in to the grand invention of invisible waves flying through the sky. If you learn something new, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah.